Hey, so welcome back. I am here today to give you some information on FLIR's new C5 infrared camera and what makes it such a game changer in the infrared world. So, FLIR just released an infrared camera like this one. This is the original, the FLIR C2, a pocket size infrared camera. But what makes FLIR's new C5 infrared camera such a game changer is the fact that it now has a 160 by 120 pixel array, which means there's 19,200 pixels of infrared temperature measurement within that camera. So now you have a camera in this size that is less than $700 that has 19,000 pixels of temperature measurement. So why is that so beneficial? Well, back in 2008, FLIR had this camera and it was a 140 by 140. So it was 19,600 pixels of temperature measurement and it was six thousand dollars so now we have a camera under seven hundred dollars that has the same resolution as this now this camera had a few other things about it that was different than this but i think this new camera is something that every single electrician plumber maintenance guy people that are doing construction people that are doing insurance everyone can afford this camera and slip it into their pocket and be able to have a completely new world to look at here are some images from a 19,200 pixel image compared to the 80 by 60 image that came from this original C2 if you notice, you can see a lot more with the 19,000 pixel image compared to the 4,800 pixel image. That's extremely beneficial when we're looking at temperature measurements and being able to identify problems such as electrical and small building defects or small mechanical defects from further away. So it gives us more capability to look and be further away. Now I know a $600 camera isn't something that everyone is going to be able to afford, but if you are running some type of a business or you are making critical choices in your facility's maintenance or in the decision making for building, for basic maintenance, for anything temperature related, this camera is the camera that you need to have in your toolbox. Three things that make this camera really, really beneficial is number one, the fact that it has a lamp. So now we can highlight in dark places and be able to get those details that the MSX function gives us from our digital camera, as well as the ability now to be able to type in text comments on our image itself. So no longer do we have to have a separate piece of paper to carry around. We can actually text, put those information into the text, into the camera where it saves it all together. And then when we go back to do our reports, we have that information in there automatically. It bring, it'll bring it into our report. And the last thing, the third thing that really makes this camera beneficial is the fact that they now have a cloud storage through the FLIR Ignite website that you can upload these cameras by having a Wi-Fi connection. You can set a hotspot on your, on your phone. You can have Wi-Fi that you're connected to in whatever facility you're at, and you can send those image immediately to the cloud to be able to make reports to be able to complete getting somebody the information that they need to have from those infrared images. The other benefit is that the Wi-Fi capability gives us the ability to connect directly to our phone and be able to create reports on our phone or on an iPad that gives us the ability to make that report before we ever leave the facility or leave the machine or leave the building that we are at. That is extremely powerful and extremely beneficial 
to our end user and the end receiver of, of the reports that are made from the infrared camera. So those are just a few of the great things that make FLIR's new C5 a must have tool in your toolbox. So you can click on the links below in order to check out FLIR's camera and learn more about it and check out the specific specifications of this camera. You can also give us a call or check out our website and ask us any questions that you need to know about FLIR's new C5. Thanks for joining us and have an utterly awesome day.